Hello friends, in the comment section there are many people who are asking for graph videos. So today I am starting the series of videos on graph. So now let's start with the topic what is a graph. A graph G is equal to V comma E where V is equal to a set of vertices and E is equal to set of edges. So you can see here in this graph there are six vertices. They are A, B, C, D, E, F and there are eight edges. Okay. So you can see here V equal to A, B, C, D, E, F. This is the set of vertices and this is the set of edges. Okay. So what are the edges? C, A, B, B, D, D, F, F, E, E, C, then A, C, B, C and D, E. So these are the edges in the graph. So what does this graph mean in the real world? Let's take an example of friends. Okay. So suppose these vertices are the people in the world. Okay. So edge in A and B. So this edge AB indicates that A and B are friends. Okay. The example is for friends relation. Means these vertices are the objects and the edges in those vertices are the relations. So friendship is a relation. So person A and person B are friends but there is no edge between A and F. So that means A and F are not direct friends or you can say they are not friends. Okay. Now let's take another example of roads. So suppose A, B, C, D, E, F are the names of cities. So the edge between A and B tells us that there is a road available between A and B. Means there is a direct road between city A to city B. But there is no edge between A and F. Means there is no direct road between A and B f here okay so this is the meaning of graph in the real world means the vertices are the objects and the edges indicate the relation between those vertices so now these edges can also have some values associated with them so as you can see a and b are cities we have assumed that these are the cities then the edge AB may have value suppose 10 kilometers means the distance between A and B city is 10 kilometer. So the value for this edge is 10. You can say that the weight of this edge is 10. Okay. Then suppose the value for AC is 12. Then the value for CE is 30. Okay. So this is the weight for those edges. The edge may be associated with some weight, some value or some cost. Now see, we have to see what is the order of a graph. So the order of a graph is the number of vertices in the graph. So here there are six vertices in the graph means see, the order of the graph is six. You write the order with this symbol means modulus of V. See this is the V and if you take modulus of V that means you are finding out the number of elements present in this set. So that is the order of graph and that is 6. Now let's see the number of edges means the size of the graph. So size of the graph is the number of edges. So see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the size of this graph is 8. Means the modulus of E is 8. Means the number of elements in this set is 8. So this is the introduction for graph. So in the next video now we will see how this graph is represented in the program. Means when we write the code for graphs which data structure do we use. And how do we write the program to store graph in the memory? 
so we are going to see that in the next video in this series hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you